everyone. I am finally here. I've been working so hard these last few months, weeks, but actually more like months so that I can bring you a great Christmas craft fair 2022 ideas. I made sure to have ideas that were simple, quick, easy to multiply so you can mass produce. And these are also items that will be great for you just for gifting your friends, for stockings, anything like that. So what and what I do, just giving you an idea here, what I do is all my leftovers, I prepare these kits with loads of things inside and I gift my friends with that. So we're going to start with personal uh, items, like personal care items, okay? And I'm going to start with one that I absolutely love. Look at this. These are lip balm holders. Look at that. So I created these little tiny purses and don't worry before you, you ask me, I'm going to have tutorials two a week from now on on all these items, okay? So don't worry about that. So look at these. These are absolutely gorgeous, so easy to make. I am used to making this kind of purse or bag in bigger sizes, so you will learn how to do that with the tutorial. This is so easy, there's no cutting involved. You just cut the size of the paper and then it's just basically folding and gluing. And the more paper you use, the bigger the purse will be. So this is a great box to learn and it will be one of my first tutorials, okay? So that you can actually customize to the size you need. So let me show you some of the purses. And if you look inside, you're going to see the lip balm. It's right there. And I actually, I don't glue it. This one is kind of loose, but I usually just add a little bit of uh, double-sided tape on the bottom so it doesn't move so much around. But I just want to show you here some of the ideas <clears throat> of the papers that I used. I love this paper here. But just so you get some ideas, and I had the Christmas. This was actually one strip. Let's start. Let me see. <laughs> it's starting to feel a lot like, and then Christmas. So I just cut the Christmas and I put it in the bottom here. But look how beautiful these are. I absolutely love them. I love the red ones too. Let me show you the red ones. This one I used a little sticker with a Christmas tree. Look at that. So these are lip balm holders. Very easy to make, guys. You will not believe how quick it is. And that, that was my focus deal for this series. Something because we're pretty close and some of you are still thinking about gifts and stuffers and stuff like that. So here are some. So that's how we begin. And this is actually how I'm going to showcase it. I'm going to have like boxes like this just on 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 the table like that and they're going to I'm going to have some kind of sign here with the price and everything so that was my first one now let's move on and now we're going to look at these little tiny boxes guys look at these let me show you and I already have the tutorial made for all of these this is a very cute again quick to make little box look at that and i use this if you remember from one of my hauls i have these cards and i'll have the link for you in all the tutorials so that it was very quick this is very sturdy material and paper here so look at that and guess what's inside remember that i showed you all the products that i got most of these products that i'm using to gift are from the dollar store and let me open one. So this is actually a box that holds the hand cream, remember? And I use some glitter. It's not glitter, it's they call it fillers. So there it's perfect sized for these hand creams. So you have a tutorial for that. So I really thought about how to showcase my uh, hand creams and I thought, well, you know what, I'm just gonna come up with a quick box to make. And that's what I did, you just add a ribbon and you're done. So these are the hand cream boxes. This is kind of my favorite here because it has a little dog. Look at that. 
<laughs> so there you are. So that's the hand cream solution. So I'm going to put it back in the box and we're going to move on. And we're going to look at some nail files. Look at that. I have a few here. I have more made, but I'm not going to show you everything. Very, again, very quick. It's basically a strip of paper. You, you just fold it up, glue the sides, and you're done. It's all about decorating, of course, because you use two papers. You have the solid one here, and then you decorate too, because it makes it sturdy. But a very quick solution for nail files. Great for stockings. So it's all, again, it's all up. This is my favorite here. Look at this bird. How cute is that? It's all about the paper you're going to use, guys. I always say that. So save the cutest papers for these because in craft fairs, you have to, it has to be eye-catching, okay? If it isn't and you just use some kind of embellishment here. So this is my solution for nail files. And the last item in this personal care is these hot and cold iPads that I found. It's from the dollar store too. They come in, in plastic bags. So what I did was just repackage them and I glued them with double-sided tape so they don't move. But that's basically it. And I, of course, I saved uh, in the back, I cut the instructions because they need to know. But this is a very easy, you see the tutorial is maybe five minutes, six minutes long because I basically, all I did was just repackage. I just thought they were so cute. And I thought, well, maybe if I use a nice paper and I just, you know, add this, like a holder, a top for the packages. And that's it. I mean, very easy to make. And I thought these were... Really cute, I hadn't seen these before. So I have a few of them and we'll see how they do. I'll let you know. So this is personal care um, items. Now we're going to move to, I'm going to have a section of my table called paper, uh, no, gift wrapping area. And I'm going to have some ideas and I'm going to show you now three ways that I created on how to display your Christmas tags. So let's move on to the gift wrapping section. So now moving on to the gift wrapping area. So these items are great for gifting as well, not just craft fairs, because every one of us need tags and things like that when we start wrapping our presents, right? So I'm going to start with this. This is actually something, you know, this is the time of the year where we are going to be handing out a lot of wine bottles to thank people for inviting us, for example, to come to their homes or just as gifts themselves, right? So instead of just handing out the bottle, I created this and you're going to wrap it around the bottle. Let me show you how. And this just adds a lot to the... And you can actually have something... I had cheers here. You can have like, thank you. Or you can have a piece of paper where you can write a note to your guest or to the person, you know, that you're gifting. And, and always keep in mind, guys, most of these items is are great for presents too, for for birthday. So you can have something like happy birthday here instead of cheers or thank you. But let me show you what it looks like. I'm going to show you a mini one first. So this is what it looks like. So when you hand the bottle, that's what they get. Look how great that is. And for you scanning cutters, I'm going to get, have a tutorial on how to create this on your scan and cut, okay? This is attached. I actually folded it. But look at this. And I have the way that you do it. I have a double-sided foam adhesive here that when you're ready to give it to someone, you just glue it so it doesn't move around. But this is really nice to just embellish your uh, bottle so that you just don't give just the bottle themselves. Let me show you another example here. This is a big one. 
So look at that. You don't have to have this, of course, you can embellish in any way you want, but that's the idea. It's very simple. It's a strip of paper. I will give you the measurements when I do the tutorial, and you're just gonna have a hole here. Use your punch to, to have a, a circle punch here, and you can use this or not, and it can be attached or not. See the difference here? This one I left attached, and this one on, on this one I just brought it down here and I just cut so they they were not attached. That's the, the only difference, but it's the same image. I absolutely love this, and that's what I'm going to have like a package with five or six. I don't know how much I'm going to charge yet, but this is a very quick item for you to make for your craft fair. So there you are. I have three examples here, all using these um these glasses here, there's the flute, the wine glass, because it's a wine bottle, of course, but you can use anything you want. This is great for using your die cuts and all of the embellishments and like ephemera and stuff, okay? So that's one very easy to make. Now let's move on to the tags, guys. I love the, what I did with my tags this year. We're going to start with this one. So this is like a tag holder or pouch, I don't know how to call it, but again, very quick to make, and I have four tags in each one, and I just embellish them, see, each one, again, it's all about the paper, and they come with the ribbon attached already. So let me show you the different ones that I made. These are already, in, this is how I'm going to display them, so they're already in plastic bags. So each one has a different, you know, paper. I use different papers and different ephemera. Here, this one was kind of a busy paper, so I didn't need to add much, just to believe. But look at these, it's all about the paper. Look how gorgeous this paper is. I just added my little tiny Christmas tree. Again, the Christmas tree, and this is perfect because that's what the paper has too. This is a die, and I will show you. That's why I came up with different ideas. This one, you need a die, and I'll have uh, the link when I have the tutorial. But it's so it just makes it so quick for you to create these pockets. So there you are. But I also have options for those of you who do not want to get a die. So I, I think this is my favorite. I added some uh, snowflakes here. That's the back. And I will have one open now. I just added the piece here, very nice. I'll just show you what it looks like. I kept one open just so you see. This one I just punched. Um, I have a punch that does this, so the ornament. And inside you, ju you just add, I have four. This one has four, but I, the other ones you see, I have one that has six and another one with eight. So four tags as a total. You can add more here. I think up to six will, will not be bulky. It will be fine, okay? So that's one idea. Let me move on to the next. The next one is very easy too. It's just a box, very quick box to make. I, will, I have a tutorial, don't worry, I have a tutorial for everything. And this one, you, I actually fit six, eight. Two, six, eight, yeah. So I have eight tags in here. So with the box, I, I think the box is the one that you fit the most. And now let me show you another idea on how to showcase. And I think that is kind of my favorite one. Guys, look at this. This I am calling tag books. So I have ribbon to, that kind of closes it. But look how cute this is. And all it is, is just an open, look at that. So when you open up, you have the tags. I have two six tags. And what I did, and that was an idea I had, instead of having, you can have just two tags on each. You can even have three or four, I think it fits. It will make it a little bulky, but, what I did here on the left was to add some ephemera and some embellishments because remember this is called gift wrapping. So if you add some embellishments here, it's great for someone who is uh, wrapping paper and they're not us, paper hoarders. <laughs> 
So they won't have all these at hand. So I just thought it would be a good idea to add six tags, but also some decoration options here. These guys are so, this is so easy to make. It's one of the shortest tutorials. I will show you how to make that very, very quick. And then you just close it with the ribbon. Let me show you some more options just so you see how different they look depending on the paper. But inside they're pretty much the same in terms of what is available inside. Let me show you. Look at this one. It's a beautiful paper. So just for something like this, that's all you see is really the paper that you're using, guys. Use the best ones you can, okay? So, some more. Here's an, another one that's kind of the same as the first. And this is kind of a happier one. So, yeah. So that's another way. So, first way was this. Second one, second one for your tags, a box. And the third one is the book. And let me show you another idea. This is the same, but it's smaller. See how smaller it is? Because what I did for this, and this is an idea for you. Do you know those papers that you get that are double-sided and you have some options of tags that are ready-made and they come, all you need to do is just cut them? Like this one here, do you see this one? That came, that was a paper pad and it was one of the paper sheets. So what I did was I created the, it's the same idea except that it's smaller and I used the tags that came in the paper. They were beautiful, look at these. These are beautiful ready-made tags that I didn't even need to make the tags. So that's another idea, just look it up. I'm sure you have some kind of paper like that and here again, some ephemera for them to embellish their, their presents and gifts. And that's it. Same thing, but I didn't even need to make the tags themselves. So that is it for our gift wrapping. Now let's move on to, let me see what I'm gonna do next. I'm gonna show you some of my notepads. You know that that's my favorite thing. So let's move on. And now my favorite part, because you guys know I love my notebooks and I created some different types. And that's where I spend the most time because I create, I love creating these sceneries. And these guys, these are like different dyes. It took me forever to build this up, believe me. These are like one die, another die. These are all different dies and yeah, but it, I really think it's worth the time because your notebooks, they need to be eye-catching. So sometimes I will show you, I will use something that already comes ready-made in a paper pad, but what I really love to do is create sceneries like this. So this is a large one. And I made, this year I made them all with this, uh, the pen holder here. And I actually still need to add, because the good thing about this pen is that I add paper that matches, so I still have to do that. But all of them, let me just show you what it looks like inside. I also, of course, you know how I am. I like it's the small detail. So you, if you, when you close, you, you don't see like that black thing. You see a paper. And I always add paper here too, so that it's not just the yellow pad like that. So I embellish the, the pad itself. And here, the idea I had this year was to add a note, a post-it note pad here. So you can add anything. I'll show you a different one where I have a calendar and then a little piece of post-it notes too. But the idea here is to embellish not just the cover, but also the inside. Look how beautiful this is. And then here, when you look, it's the, it, you have paper too. So very, very nice. I love it. I think that's one of my favorite. But let me show you how you can, if you're doing it quickly, you don't have to create sceneries like I do. You can just use this. It's all from a paper pad. It came with this ephemera here. So I just cut it, made it easy. And I also, the one thing I like to do is to reinforce the corners. So I use those uh, photo corner things. I, I actually have a punch that I use a lot that cuts this so I can use with the same paper matching. 
and I often when I find that this is a little bit flimsy not hard enough not sturdy enough I use that just to reinforce and, and make sure that it will be okay so that's another one with the pan and again inside what I did I actually had this I don't know where from but I had this just lying around and I'm gonna add it it's just a little tiny uh, pad here for notes I embellished the inside again always like that so here and you have the paper pad inside so always embellish uh, the front of your paper pad too and here I have two paper pads okay so there you are, there's another one. Now we're going to move to smaller ones and I want to show you the different ones that I made with different material, not just the paper pad. So let me put this aside. Again, this one doesn't have a scenery. I, it's a quick one and I, I always have something here, smaller, a uh, smaller piece of paper to reinforce because cardstock is hard, but this is not chipboard. So I wanted to make sure that it was sturdy. And also that's how you glue the, to, uh, I'm gonna have that in a tutorial, but you glue the ribbon, right? So let me show you what this one looks like inside. So I, again, decorated here. And look how cute it is. This is actually something that I got at the dollar at the dollar store that came with this paper pad in this little tiny calendar. So I decided to have it together, but as looking like a notebook. So it's a notebook. With that, I added the calendar on the left and a little post-it note thing here. So I thought this would be perfect for that. Let me show you another one, just so you see the cover, but it's basically the same thing. Just want to give you some more ideas on what kind of paper to use and embellishment and things like that. But these guys, people love them. Less, my last craft fair, I saw them all. They love these paper pads because everybody needs a pen. This one doesn't have the pen, so that's another option for you. You do not have to offer a pen every time. But again, look, a very cute here inside. You have the paper pad and you have the calendar and another sticky note. So very cute. I love it. I really love these calendars. I couldn't find many, unfortunately. This one, again, this one doesn't have the ribbon. It's just another idea. You can just wrap a ribbon quickly. And this one, let me show you. It's, I think it's the same thing inside, but I wanted to see it. See, you embellish the pad here, the, uh, the calendar, and a little tiny uh, post-it note. So that's another one. And this is another one. I just want to, to show you another closure. This one is Velcro. It's very practical. It's just a strip of paper that I folded so that it's sturdy. But that's another one. And that's one that, again, it's one of those that come the paper pad. I embellished, added this, a, a post-it note, and the calendar. But I just wanted to give you another idea on how to close it. You can use the ribbon, you can use just wrap around, and you can use a Velcro like this. So that's, let me show you another notebook here. So that's another one. I love this one because I really love gold. So this one was a foil, it has foiling. So I added a lot of gold to this one to really make it pop and even the ribbon is gold. So let me show you. This is another kind of paper pad, okay? That one was a little little thinner. So this one is the thick kind that comes also from the dollar store. So this is, I, I didn't glue it here. I'm going to glue this to the cover, but I left it like this just so you know which one I'm talking about, okay? But this is actually glued to the cover. And then you have the paper pad here. Very simple, this is quicker to make because you don't have to, oh, I'm, I'm gonna leave the last for last, okay? So this is another one, I forgot to put the pen here, but there is a place, there is a pen for it. <laughs> this one, I really had a lot of fun. Again, I reinforced because I thought it was a little bit thin and I punched a little thing here on the back. You can embellish the back, you can just embellish everything you need and you want, okay? 
So that's what it looks like inside, a little bear. And that's the same kind, see? That's the same kind, I'm going to glue that because you don't want this to be showing. You're going to glue that. That's another one. And last one, which is, I think, the smaller from the smaller ones, my favorite. Look at this beautiful Christmas tree. It has ho, ho, ho. This is a die that I bought and I made a whole bunch of these. But look how beautiful it is. And that's what I mean, guys. Let me show you. Do you see that it has a paper? This is the same paper and it's matching. That's what I love about this pen. You can just unscrew it and add the paper so everything is matching. Look how gorgeous this is. Beautiful paper, but it's the same idea inside. I have another Christmas tree inside. And this one is already glued. See, that's the way you do it. You glue it to the original cover because you don't want that to be showing. So these are my notebooks, guys. I hope you enjoy these. We are going to move on, okay? So some more items for you in my craft fair series. So let's move on. And now let's talk about food. <laughs> I created these pouches here. I saw this uh, on a channel that I watch all the time. It's by, it's called Lyric Lover Crafts. And her name is Amber. And I saw her, the tutorial. I don't think it's her tutorial originally, but that's how, where I saw it. And I would like to give credit. So I created some tea pouches with goodies in it. So let me get one out. This is what it looks like. So we have a sugar, kind of sugar um, spoon here, a regular spoon. You have the tea here, two mints and a straw. So this is again something very quick to make, eye-catching, and I like to always have something food related as a craft item. And then you just display it like this in a bag. This is so easy to make, you will not believe how easy it is when you see the tutorial. So I just added this top here with a message. Let me show you some more. Here's some more. Here's the present, I mean not the pouch. Very nice. It's always good to have food, something food related. Here's Christmas, uh, some Christmas decoration here. Again, if you have beautiful paper, you're halfway there. Here's some more, just to give you ideas on how to embellish. Here you can have sentiments, always using double-sided uh, paper so you can, because it's going to fold. I will have a tutorial soon. And I have another one, guys. Let me show you one that I'm still working on. It's very cute. This is a tea, tea also. I love this idea. The only disadvantage is that you can't really fit anything else. So I'm still trying to see if I find another solution. But I think I'll have the option of just the tea because it's so cute. What do you think? I love this. This is a die that I just bought. It's so easy. It's so fast to make. And then I just lit like a, a here. I just cut here with my X-Acto knife, punch two holes, because it makes it easier to go in. I love this idea. I might have like two options. This one will be more expensive, of course, because it has more items in it, and this one will be cheaper. Maybe I'll just have this one, a few of these, and a few of these, and then they choose, because again, it's cute. They love it. If I put it in a bag like this with a topper, perfect. So that's my food item. And this one here, let me show you what I made. I made quite a few of these. I don't have all of them here, but I want to show you. I made some activity kits for kids. These are all different. Each one of these have different items, but the idea when you put something together like this is to have something activity related, so something fun for them to do. And I'll have something like this. Always, I, I always have crayons. So this one, you see, I have some crayons. I have a glitter glue here. 
I have these Compare and Contrast Learning Cards, and I have something to be colored here in the back. So each one is different. This is very easy. It's basically, guys, just put the items into a plastic bag, add the topper, and you're done. But each one of them is different. So you have some activity here. This is another carry-along activity uh, pad. So this is another different one. This one is the same. This is another activity. Again, I have some foam uh, stickers here, so it's something fun for them. But I also have something like this. This is a little bigger, and I created this kind of holder for the crayons. In my tutorial, I'll teach you how to make this because I think it just looks very nice, and you can use some nice paper like this and embellish it. So I have some stickers here, I have the activity, which is these things here to color with the crayons and the glitter glue. But I also have these 250 sticker book. All of this came from the dollar store, guys, all of it. So that it makes it affordable for those who are going to buy it and for us, of course, so we can sell it. So this is an idea for kids. I have some that look like this, the top. I also have something like that that you can carry, but it's basically the same thing. I just wanted to make sure that this year I had something for kids because there will be parents there and they always want to find something for their kids. So before I end this, I want to invite you to watch my other craft fair ideas, very different items. I don't think apart from the notebook, Everything is different, so I'll have the link below for you. If, and from now on, I'm going to have two tutorials a week, plus other tutorials that I'm making that are also related to Christmas. So make sure to subscribe and also click on that notification bell so you are alerted when I have a new video. But before I end, guys, I wanted to show you something that's not paper related, but I also made for this craft fair which is some cozies. I also do crochet, so I created these, some cozies for, I'm sure these will sell a lot. They're each different. I think I have like three different types in total. So look at that, I have some that are gray, so if you want to, it depends on taste, right? So look at that, you can also, you can use this with cups, even with those long tumblers, you can use that too. This one is very soft. So another, that's another one. I love this pattern here. I think it's my favorite. I have this pattern here that's different, just like these lines. I love the blue. What do you think? I would love to hear your opinion on what you really enjoyed in this tutorial. What's your favorite item? I would love to hear from you. So here's another one. This one is a little bit taller. Yeah, these are simple ones, but I think these will sell really well. Something that for us crochet people, <laughs> uh, we can do this so quickly and it's an easy to grab item. I'm, I don't know how much I'm going to charge for these, but I just added these too. When I'm in front of the TV and I don't have to think about anything and glue anything or cut anything, I do crochet. So guys, I hope you enjoy this. Oh, and the last thing, I always do this in my videos, right? Oh, I always think I forgot, I, I always forget something. So these are two cards, and just for you to know, in the future, I'm going to have um, a tutorial on how to turn these into beautiful boxes. So just wait for that, because I am going to show you how to get those Beautiful cards that you have at home, these seven, uh, I think this is seven inches by five, I believe. And these are perfect for making boxes. So stay tuned, hit the notification uh, bell. And I hope you enjoyed it, guys. I worked really hard to bring you good ideas, fast and quick and easy to make, okay? Thank you so much for being here with me. And please do leave your comments below. It makes such a difference when we hear from you. So thank you so much. You have a great day and get ready for the tutorials now, okay? Thank you so much and have a great day.